Okay. Well, I couldn't resist it any longer. Somebody had already grabbed this thing out of the trash or out of the dumpster, so I decided to go ahead and bring it home. Um, but before I get into that, I want to ask you guys a quick side question. What would you guys build if you could get a hold of a piece of steel that was three and a half inches wide, six inches deep, 24 inches long, or 88, 152 by 609 millimeters? Um, just, you know, if you guys have an idea or an opinion, put it in the comment section. It appears to be some kind of mild steel. It's soft. Um, 140 pounds worth of steel, so it'll be like 70 bucks or so. But anyways, I've been kind of debating whether or not to get that. <clears throat> I just saw it up at Century and trying to think about what I might use something like that for. So any ideas would be good to hear. Oh, one other thing. I can't, I don't know if this was something integral to this vice or not i don't know i don't know why it would be secured on the back of this vice but at any rate i'm going to start putting some oil on this thing it already moves the lead screw looks pretty good on it or the screw whatever you want to call it <clears throat> i'm just going to try and get it to move a little better yeah Needless to say, this guy's a little on the heavy side. Now, don't need that anymore. Definitely moving better. Yes, yeah, one of the things I'll need to do when I get serious about doing something with this vise is hit it with a wire brush. <clears throat> Much better. Much better indeed. <clears throat> Anyways, it has definitely seen some abuse over the years, but since they already had it fished out of the dumpster and for 50 bucks, I figured, ah, what the heck, I can't say no to that. <clears throat> and all it needed was a little bit of oil to make it decent again. So, I guess with that in mind, I probably won't be needing that little vice. <clears throat> I'll probably doctor it up a little bit one of these days and sell it off to someone else, but still have to figure out what I'm going to do to mount this. Someone drilled and tapped some holes here. I think, you know what? 
I'm going to do a little bit of disassembling on this and see if this will still swivel. They had welded it there and it looks like it broke away. <clears throat> I'm assuming this plate is a piece of steel, but I don't know for sure. Because the weld is stuck to the steel real well, but broken away from the cast iron there. Of course, it's well the opposite on the others. Anyways, we'll see. Yeah. Pause the camera. And I'm going to go grab some tools and start disassembling this a little bit. Okay, it looks like this will budge. Okay, that clearly needs a little bit of oil on it as well. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, detents. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. Maybe this isn't steel on the bottom. Maybe this is a piece of cast iron also. Just not too sure. The rust kind of makes me think it's cast iron, but obviously that's not a definitive way to judge it. I'm going to go ahead and pause again, and I'm going to take a little bit of time to clean this up while I'm here messing with it. Got it apart. Alrighty, so I cleaned off these welds. Not perfectly yet, but enough to where this thing can move if I get things sorted out well enough. Um, the one thing I'm not sure about yet, that guy's spring loaded that's good I'm not sure about this and I'm not sure about the, I'm not sure about these two things yet I'm gonna see what I can do to remove these but I'm not really sure what they even are <clears throat> I mean, that just looks like a mess of weld right there. Anyways, if I can get those two things cleared up, this thing should be able to swivel on this base. So, let me take a little bit more time, probably with the grinder, on those guys. And I'll go ahead and pause the camera again. And I'll bring you back in a second. All right, well, whatever these two things are, they are not steel or cast iron. That, I think, is wood, actually. Or cork. Maybe those are cork. That's not cork. I'm not really sure what it is. No, maybe it is. It's 
very very condensed um, I'm assuming these guys are probably supposed to be for lubrication I'm going to I think for right now I'm just gonna cut these guys off because they're so hard I don't think they're gonna help me much and yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find something to cut those off with real quick and then see if I can clean up the rest of the detents on that and then put this thing back together so maybe I'll get like a utility knife blade or something on that <clears throat> so hang on this might be a mistake but I can always replace them later if I need to I suppose Alrighty, so basically I just kind of took the grinder to it and nibbled them down a little bit, but it does look like it's cork or wood or something like that. So it's still, a, they're, they're still a little proud of the surface, but that's not a bad thing. Hopefully they'll still be able to, to ex some extent, do what they were supposed to do. If I can get some of this gunk out of here. Give this thing a little lubrication and then put it back together. That was more solid. All right, well, at least you guys get the idea. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, I got those things reasonably cleaned out now. I think I'm going to see about putting this thing at least partially back together here. Stuff almost reminds me of the um, like welding flux or the the flux that's on the outside of of arc welding rods you know when you chip it off it's kind of what that reminds me of I wonder if this was used in a weld shop Now, obviously, I don't have the thrust washer on this right this second. <clears throat> but I can deal with that later. pliers for that. <clears throat> I 
Say that'll move. <clears throat> Let's see. I wonder if I can put it up on something. Oh well. At any rate, <clears throat> that is definitely going in the right direction now. Technically, put the thing to use right now if I wanted to, by the looks of things. <clears throat> I think that's not too bad for a $50 vice. Too bad at all. And obviously, it needs a little more help in places, but it's working. So, I would love to know if this stuff is, in fact, cork or if it's just wood that's down in these holes. This guy and this guy there both have the same material. Just looks like it's cork or wood that's been impregnated with oil over the years. <clears throat> All right, well... I think that's a long enough video on a silly vice, so I'll catch you guys later.